Hello and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I hope you are doing well. So the premise of this video is to try and build an even more iconic graveyard than that of Olive Spectre. As you might know, she actually has like a very iconic graveyard in her front yard. And yeah, today we're gonna be trying to actually improve on that. And yeah, that's pretty much the goal for this video and nothing is gonna stop me bar game corruption. And why do I mention game corruption? Well, because... The only way I feel like we can actually build an iconic graveyard is by getting some very interesting ghosts. So, we're gonna be spawning in, via the use of cheats, some very dangerous NPCs that usually honestly lead to game corruption. By the way, I'm really not sure what's going on right here. Like, I've been doing my intro, right? And this guy, Patrick Bateman, by the way, I feel like he really fits the narrative of the episode that we have going on right now. But yeah, basically he's... He's pretty much poured soap into this poor fountain like five, six times already. It's actually crazy. Like, that is the only thing he wants to do. Honestly, she's finding it sort of amusing though. We're actually interrupting the newspaper delivery person because of that. That is really funny. She kind of is glitching through the door as well. Oh my god, that is, that is pretty chaotic already. Okay, so without any further ado, let's just start off building our graveyard. And the way we need to do this is by spawning all sorts of crazy NPCs on my lot, okay? I'm talking like unsavory charlatan, uh, fire dance instructor, the coach, like, repo man maybe even, I don't know. We already have Rod Humble, I'm sorry bro, like, he delivers our PC and this is how we repay him. And I feel like our first ghost is gonna be the ghost of unsavory charlatan. I feel like we should actually just start off with him. Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of this guy, bro. Like, I really am not. Okay, the game is lagging, which is a good sign, honestly, for this type of experiment. Okay, so he's just turned up. As y'all can see, Unsavory Charlatan is right here on the lot. Wait a second. I did place a Rock Humble over here as well, by the way, but looks like he's despawned. And I don't think he even delivered the computer to us. Oh my god. Oh, okay, 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 he did, okay. That's fair, that's fair. He brought us the PC, but we nearly repaid him with death. So, yeah, um... Uh, we have him over here, but I have spawned two more uh, NPCs. Anyone that's ever played the University Expansion is probably having flashbacks right now. Those two people are so annoying, man. And because of that, they're gonna actually end up in our graveyard, honestly. Oh, no, they're, they're kind of teleporting right now all over the place. That is interesting. He's already, like, tormenting my sims. Holy crap, man. That is unacceptable and punishable by death. Jesus Christ, man, that is, that is unfair. Honestly, they're all so annoying. They actually deserve everything that's about to happen now. They seem kinda unbothered so far, that is pretty interesting. Okay, now stuff is going down, let's go. Unsavory Charlatan is already on fire, that is a good sign, that is a good sign. As far as I know, he's one of those rare NPCs that can actually be taken out like that. Oh, and the mascot is now on fire as well, okay. The coach is doing pretty well so far. So annoying, the fire doesn't even want to go near him, man. Okay, that is it, man. That is it. The first victim has been claimed. And it is the unsavory charlatan. Honestly, I can't say that he hasn't deserved it. <laughs> like, okay, next up is the mascot. There we go. We got two for the price of one. That is perfect. And I can already move the urn over here and start building our graveyard. Look at that. That is so perfect. The coach is on fire now as well, that is perfect. Honestly, we're off to a great start, like, it's gonna be a clean sweep of three. I was thinking of, like, diversifying all our methods, but... I, it does seem like most of these NPC characters can only really die by fire. There we go, that is perfect. So far, so good, man. Okay, what is happening over here, though? They're just randomly fighting for no reason, man. They're actually even more unhinged than all the other NPCs that I've spawned right there. Honestly, guys, if this keeps going, y'all are next. You're pretty lucky so far that you're actually not interesting enough for my graveyard. Otherwise, man, you'd probably be here already. I'm not sure who thought it would be a good idea to call me right now. But yeah, they, they can get lost, honestly. We have so many more important things going on right now. Oh, everyone is going home. I don't know what happened. Maybe they started feeling some bad vibes. I mean, imagine introducing yourself to your neighbor and then all of a sudden a graveyard just starts appearing in his backyard. Just as you're talking, he's like building a graveyard. I mean, I'd probably dip at that point as well, to be honest. 
Okay, my game is actually kinda lagging right now, holy crap. Which can only mean one thing, guys. Time for more NPCs. Wait, what happened here? He just shown up. And he's kinda roasting me, man. You have traveled a long road, but seeing is not knowing. Nah, man, you're getting punished for that. Okay, guys, we have to speed up the process, because I don't think my game is actually surviving for more than 10 seconds at this point, like... Oh my god, did the streaker actually die? The ashes are actually still censored, what the hell? Is the urn gonna be censored as well? That's what I'm wondering. Interestingly, the housekeeper has actually survived the ordeal. Not for long, though. And the bellhop is not looking to be in a pretty good state either, man. It's unfortunate because the witch doctor is actually on fire. But it doesn't appear like he can actually die. He does seem to be pretty immortal, actually, which is unfortunate. To be honest, if there's one person you would expect to withstand the fire, it would be this guy here. He's so calm, man, look at that. Just another day at the office for this person right here. <laughs> to be fair, the same can be said about this weirdo. Like, he's just meditating over here, man. Just completely unbothered, man. It's just like a very peaceful and quiet and serene and pristine meditation for him, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that's about it. I feel like these two are actually, these three actually, are all invincible. Which is a bit of a shame, but I guess we learn new things every day. Okay, let's just redesign our new graveyard. Looks pretty badass, I can't lie. Space for three more people, I think. Okay, let us find a job, because I don't think this whole graveyard upkeeping thing is gonna keep the food on the table for long. All of these jobs are actually kinda lame. So I'm thinking of just sticking to the graveyard, to be completely honest. Oh, the tour guide is actually taking a tour of the bathroom now, I guess. I don't think he's gonna get a lot of clients just standing right here, man. I know for a fact Mrs. Crumble Bottom is invincible. Don't ask why, or how. Oh wow, he's actually greeting me, that is... That is kinda broken, I feel like. I don't think he was supposed to do that. But that is like the only thing he's ever done, like this entire time. He just keeps walking around and now he decided to introduce himself. I guess he was just shy all along. Can we actually learn the fire dance, by the way? That would be so funny. Nah, it's actually impossible. The interaction is not going through. Well, that's a waste of time. False advertising, I feel like. I don't think this guy can actually teach fire dance. I don't think he's qualified for that. Nah, he's roasting me again now. I think he realized that I'm super incompetent. Oh, the witch doctor though, on the other hand, he's getting way, way more comfortable, I guess, around this house. He's now even using my own objects here. That is cute. Oh my gosh, we've actually aged him up. Oh, hello there. Oh, Jesus freaking Christ. This is actually so cursed. Okay, now that is cursed. I have no idea what's happened here, but I've just managed to somehow age up the witch doctor. And this is exactly how he looks. Holy crap, that's actually terrifying. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's like part alien. Okay, now he's changed back to his, like, athletic wear and he looks normal again. That is so freaky, man. Now he looks young again. What the hell is happening over here, man? Holy crap, that is laggy as hell. Jesus, I don't even think it's my recording at this point. It's actually probably the game itself. Oh, I think he just walked off. Yeah. After all of that, he just walked right off. That is probably one of the weirdest, like, gameplay sequences of The Sims 2 that I've ever seen, man. Okay, he's being chased away by the dog. I feel like that's that's part of his lore. And I feel like we should just leave him at that. Okay, so, you know what, this meditating dude is actually pretty annoying. I've just deleted him. And probably what the hell has just happened here? Okay, what... He's the one haunting me at this point. Holy crap, I just cannot seem to get rid of him. He's now in my foundation. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. He just keeps roasting me as well, man. Give it a rest, bro. Oh, Jesus Christ, this dude is also back. Look at the time I'd better go. He just showed up at my doorstep to tell me that it's time to go. He's a little bit confused, but he does have the spirit, let's be real. This guy, on the other hand, he's super annoying, man. And I can't even see to get rid of him. He's worse than the ghosts at this point. I mean, the ghosts haven't even showed up. No ghosts are actually out, which is a little bit disappointing, but I believe with time they're actually gonna show up. They're just marinating right now. Okay, that's a back-to-back -back promotion for Patrick Bateman. That is interesting. At least someone is thriving in this environment, I guess. Okay, so we actually do get our first ghost appearance, man. It's been about time, and I honestly don't even know who this guy is. But he does have a suit on, so... He sure means business. Oh my god, we actually have two ghosts at the same time. That is perfect. This guy is the coach. He has actually blessed us with his annoying presence. 
Oh, everyone's going home. I feel like they can probably sense the ghost presence or something. I don't know, but that is interesting. Oh my god, the graveyard has actually come to life. Look at that, three ghosts at the same time. That's actually really cool. We have the unsavory charlatan as well with the coach right behind him. That is actually so dope. Okay, my game is actually lagging again. Holy Jesus Christ, what is happening? He's just as unbothered as he's been for the entirety of the episode, man. Honestly, I'm kind of starting to admire him. Oh my god, the tour guide has actually just been spooked by a ghost. Okay, that's actually gonna be a huge positive for his CV. Like, imagine all the anecdotes he's gonna be able to tell to people, man. Oh my gosh, he's just been scared again. By the same ghost, nonetheless. <laughs> and now he's just been scared by the coach as well. He just cannot catch a break, can he? At least I do know where his next tour is gonna be. I love how this dog is just staring at this guy, man. He's like, what is this guy doing with his life, man, I swear. He's just walking around with his eyes closed, honestly. Uh, probably a good strategy, to be fair. But yeah, I feel like this is a good point to actually end the video on, because we've seen a lot of ghosts. We had like a proper like haunting phase for the entire night. We've had three ghosts come out all at once. And we've seen some very unique ones. So yeah, if you want me to continue with this like weird graveyard series, let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's it for me for today. See you all in the next video.